Hi again everyone, only me. Uh, I've been requested to produce a video showing how I got the pictorial images into the mission editor uh, for DCS 2.5 open beta. Um, it's a very simple process again uh, and I'll take you through it now. You need to be in your DCS World Open Beta 2.5 area. For me that's this PC, DCS World, because I've got a DCS World um, hard drive. Uh, program Files, Eagle Dynamics and the 2.5 Open Beta version. The, f the folder that you want in the first instance is this one here called Mission Editor. What you do is you double click on that and the file that you need to edit is this one here Mission Editor Lua. Now before you go ahead and do this I need to make some things very clear to you. Uh, you're going to have to use Notepad++ to edit this particular file. It's freeware, uh, so you'll be able to download that. I know that a number of people have tried it with the Windows Notepad, uh, and it hasn't worked out for them. They could have made a mistake. Um, I don't know, but it's always better to use Notepad++. The second thing is, this was recommended by a member of the ED team um, on the forums. So all I've done is simply follow that. You're not breaking any rules. Uh, and thirdly, the, and very importantly, um, if you run DCS using 16 megabytes of RAM, sorry, 16 gigabytes of RAM, then any missions that are built with in excess of 400 units in them, DCS will crash. Essentially, I've seen it want to use around about 22 gigabytes of RAM for a 500 unit mission. Uh, and I wondered why my system was crashing uh, and it was basically because I don't have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So the first step is double click on Mission Editor Lua. If you've got Notepad++ Notepad++ running it will automatically open as mine has done here. And as you can see I'd already done this once. At line 8 here This line, test underscore top down underscore view underscore models equals true, that is the line that you want to uncomment. And by, by saying uncomment, uncommenting is taking out those two lines there. Now, what I tend to do is I use block uncomment. And then it turns it from green to actual text, which means that line is now recognized by the Lua file and will be actioned by the Lua file. The other alternative is just simply to delete those two lines by backspace backspace and the line is live again. All you then need to do is save the Lua file by exiting out of it and saying yes. Here I am in the mission editor after updating the Lua file and now let's zoom in. There we go, there's the pictorial reference for the Tarawa, and there's a Harrier on its deck. So everything's working as it should do. Okay, I hope that was useful, uh, and thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you later. Cheers now!